What's up boys, Shane here. Today I want to talk about this blackout gameplay I had. I ended up getting 31 kills in duo squads in the new Hot Pursuit game mode. I've actually been having quite a bit of fun playing blackout on this new Hot Pursuit mode. Um, I originally thought it was going to be a bit more like Battlefield Hardline, like it was an actual respawn mode. Where you'd spawn in with classes, and there'd be cars, and there'd be cash, and all that kind of stuff running around. I was a little disappointed that it wasn't like that, but I actually do like the pace of this. It's a lot faster, and the fact that when your teammates are out and they die, um, you playing your life allows them to get back into the game, and I find that really fun. It extends the game a lot longer, and it leads to a lot less frustration as a team, and you can get some really high kill games, as you'll see in this gameplay here. Um, it's going off with mostly the Damon and the ABR for the whole game, uh, so just enjoy that. Uh, but I also wanted to talk about sort of what I've been doing, what I haven't been posting too much, and why I honestly haven't been enjoying too many other games lately. Um, I actually have the CWL Fort Worth tournament coming up very soon. Um, it is March 15th through 17th. It's a Call of Duty open event, so I'll be uh, playing the open bracket. Um, my goal, to be honest, is to get top 64 at the tournament. Uh, CWL Las Vegas was my first tournament, um, and I got top 112 in that, uh, but it was my first LAN in general uh, competing. And there were 256 teams, uh, or 280 actually, and I got top tw one, uh, 112 in my first event at, at 18, I thought that was pretty good. Um, but I've been playing a lot better, uh, I feel a lot more confident in my team, um, we don't really have as many weak links as my Vegas team did. And I think we can definitely get top 64, so that's my goal, I'd be really happy with top 48, uh, because my goal by the end of this game is to get top 32 at one event because that puts you in pretty good standing to um, Compete in the next Call of Duty and just get on a good team as again my first year competing um, I know a lot of you that follow me on Twitter and stuff know about this um, It's the same as my YouTube at Shane the laser. That's kind of why I changed my YouTube was to keep everything uh, the same um, But yeah, I talk about it a lot more on my Twitter because that's where most of the competitive Call of Duty stuff is um, And I'm gonna start posting more of my competitive matches on here um, the only issue is that when I record with my Elgato, you actually can't hear my teammates' voices. Um, and that's why I decided to do a commentary over this Black Oak game was because um, I actually was playing on Discord instead of Party Chat. Uh, so when I took this from my PlayStation, um, you couldn't hear my uh, duo's voices on this. So uh, as you can see, I get picked up in that car right there. That was actually super awesome. I swam across the river and my uh, friend just picked me up in that car. I thought that was super cool. Um, but yeah, that's why I haven't been playing too much. Um, I'm going to try to get a Battlefield video in before I leave. Um, and I'll definitely be playing Firestorm when I get back because right after it, I'm going, I'm hanging out with my dad for a little bit, um, in Arizona because we're seeing some baseball games there, um, which is something I haven't done in forever with him. So I'll be doing that for a little bit, but then when I get back, Firestorm for Battlefield 5 should be out. So I'll definitely have content on that and I'll definitely be posting on that, um, because I know a lot of you guys will be interested in that, uh, it being Battle Royale and Battlefield, which is something I think is really cool. I wish again it was standalone and free to play, but... Nonetheless, I'll still definitely enjoy playing it. Um, as far as just the channel goes in general, I'm not really sure what direction to take it. Um, I think until I really find something I'm passionate about making videos on again, I'll just sort of post here or there, keep you guys updated with what's going on. Uh, post something that I'm like interested in the gaming scene, like I did that Titanfall 3 video that did pretty well. Um, I did some Apex Legends videos when it came out. Um, but yeah, I just don't really have something right now that I really want to grind on YouTube. Um, so I'm really just uh, posting videos here and there, just sort of filling the channel, keep you guys updated, and plus sort of fill my urge for video posting because I still love editing and that kind of stuff. So I definitely want to uh, fill that urge within me. Um, but yeah, I definitely think until like Titanfall 3 comes out, uh, maybe Modern Warfare 4, but I always find Call of Duty hard for YouTube. Um, there's just, it's so oversaturated at this point, and there really isn't too much to do. Like, Drifter, he does all the sort of in-depth videos and exclusive ace. Um, I think if I get my competitive audience bigger on Twitter and stuff, I'll, I'll post more competitive Call of Duty videos over here. Um, but I still like making the public video, the public match videos, honestly, even more. So I'm not really sure. And I definitely enjoy making the Battlefield videos. So whatever the next Battlefield is, hopefully Bad Company. If it's Bad Company 3, or if it's like a true Battlefield 5, like a sequel to Battlefield 4, I'll, I'll grind the heck out of YouTube for that. Um, and I'll post that so much. That's one of my major regrets is that I had the ability to post YouTube videos when Battlefield 4 was out, um, but I just didn't really think it was worth it. Um, and really what started my whole YouTube was that one Deagle video I did during the uh, Battlefield Hardline beta. Um, so that video ended up getting like tens of thousands of views, like 30,000 views, and it sort of uh, jump-started my channel up to like 500 subscribers right off the bat um, 
So that that pretty much brought me to YouTube, and I didn't really have a successful video like that on Battlefield 4. I really wish I had, man, because if I had, I could have been making videos all of Battlefield 4. And honestly, it, it wouldn't have mattered now since I'm not the biggest fan of Battlefield 5. Um, but just looking back and being able to see all those, a bunch of old Battlefield 4 videos of myself would have been really cool. Because to be honest, Battlefield 4 is like still my favorite game of all time. Um, and looking back on like Infinite Warfare and Battlefield Hardline is really cool. Um, and seeing those videos on my channel and thank god i posted some infinite warfare videos on my channel because even though they get <laughs> barely got any views man they got like 50 views 60 views uh just the fact that i can look back on them nostalgically was 100 percent worth it and i'm kind of starting to realize that now that i don't really care so much if my videos don't do well um but i really just think they're sort of like logs of what i enjoyed at this time in my life um and, I, and I, you really won't be able to replace that and so while I really like giving you guys the kind of videos that you want, um, I know I have a core fan base of the of the OGs um, that will support almost any videos I post and I always hang around, man. The Chrome Donut Gamings, the Shy Cold Chris's. Chris is honestly just a homie at this point. Um, you know, I should really shout out more of you guys in the future because every single time I see you guys comment, I see you. The guys that have been around since 2015, the guys that have been around since 2016. I really see you guys and I appreciate all the support you guys always have it, it it just it just puts a smile on my face every time you comment so if you've been watching my videos forever man just freaking leave a comment just say hi just how's it going because I really never did that when I watched youtubers before I was like you know I've watched this guys videos forever but you know you probably won't even recognize me I'm just like one comment but you know I, I see that I see all the comments that you guys make and honestly, it's a bit maybe easier now because I don't get <laughs> that many comments anymore. But, you know, it's really just the thought of it, man. And I really just appreciate that stuff. And towards the end here, this black king got a little spicy. Um, it got really interesting. They're freaking my teammates grappling everywhere. There's still like nine people left in this small ass circle. I was like, what the heck is going on, man? I just pulled out the daemon, got it down to seven. And then I, I just go off at the end here. Got it down to five because two guys, my teammate killed a guy too and i don't know it, it was just going crazy and i was like where are these guys and they just hop over the ledge and we get the win if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe and i'm assuming it's a lot more of my old fans uh, that are hanging around for this but again boys don't forget to drop a like down below subscribe if you are new here that's what with the guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time